As your online teaching, I'm sure that you want your online classes to simulate as close as possible as if you were in person teaching your students. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Zoom breakout room that will allow you to do exactly just that. And also make sure to stick to the end of the video as I'm going to throw in some free resources for your online teaching. For weekly tips, strategies, resources, and games for your English language learners, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss a video. In my 22 years of teaching English learners, I have seen how putting students into partners or into groups really helps them to apply what they have learned in class and to learn English in a more natural context. So without further ado, let me show you how to create a Zoom breakout room to facilitate your students' English learning. So your first step is you're going to log into Zoom just as you normally would as if you were going to host a meeting. But instead of going straight into hosting a meeting, you're going to click on schedule a meeting. And then on the left hand side, you're going to see a tab that says personal. You're going to go all the way down and click on settings. And then you're going to see three tabs, meeting, recording, telephone. Make sure to click on meeting. And then you're going to scroll down and you're going to go to in meeting advanced. Once you're on the in meeting advanced tab, you're going to see the first section is breakout room. What you're going to do is you're going to highlight that tab and now your settings have been updated and you're ready to host breakout rooms. Make sure though that the box next to allow host to sign participants to breakout rooms when scheduling has been highlighted and then click save. Now that you have set up to enable breakout rooms, you will see it appear on the bottom part of your screen once you're ready to start hosting a meeting and it will appear between the reaction button and the record button. You have several choices as what you do in terms of whether you want to set up your breakout rooms before or after your participants enter the room. You can even change the name of your breakout room so that it's more appropriate for what you're doing in your class. You can call it group one, group two, or whatever you like, or you can just keep it as break room one and two. You can also assign your students once they're in the room to where you want them to do. And you have two options. You can have it automatically assign the students, which I usually do. It's a lot easier. And then once they're in, if you want to make some changes, you can swap them out for where you actually want them to be. I absolutely love reading your comments. And in a recent video that I made about online teaching with Zoom, I had a very sweet viewer called Portia who mentioned that she was really excited about her first meeting with her students. I'm really curious, how about you? What are you using for your online teaching? Please make sure to mention in the comment section below. Then you can invite your students into the Zoom meeting and once they start entering into the room, you can greet them and then you can start teaching your lesson. And as soon as you're ready to start the breakout session, you can then start assigning them into the different rooms. Okay class, now that I've read you the story and I showed you how I want you to do the activity and we practiced a little bit together, now I want you with your partner to discuss an alternate ending to the story. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let a sentence them appear on the screen. You can copy it down in your notebooks if you need a couple of minutes. And then in a couple of seconds, I'm going to send you out into a breakout room so that you and your partner can work together. Once you assign your students to one of the breakout rooms, they will receive a notification on their end to join the room. Once they accept the invitation, they will be taken to the room automatically with their partner or group members, and you will be left alone in the main area. In order to monitor progress and provide feedback to the different groups, click on one of the breakout rooms to join one group at a time. Why did Dr. Hemphill have to assign us as partners? She always does this, even in class. Yeah, I don't know. All I know is that you look just as annoying on here as you do in class. Oh yeah, well your face looks like what I would have drawn with my left hand. <laughs> well, you know what? You have so many gaps in your teeth, it looks like your tongue is in jail. Oh, oh that's real original. Hi, Amy and Beth. I just wanted to check in and see how everything is going. Are you both understanding the question okay? Yeah. Wonderful. Yes. Great. Okay. Well, just a reminder, uh, you have five more minutes to complete the task. I'm going to jump out of here for a second to check up on the other rooms and see how the other students are doing. 
just know that once I leave the room, there is going to be a message that's going to come up letting you know how many more seconds you have until we rejoin as a group, okay? Alrighty, I'll see you in a bit. You're lucky she didn't hear us. How did you do that? You didn't know that you could do that with Zoom, huh? Yep, there's a new uh, beta testing going on and it's coming out soon. In order to rejoin another group or to go back into the main room, you're going to click on the breakout room button and then you're going to be able to leave the session and choose where you want to go. And another nice option is that you are able to broadcast a message to everyone in the room, letting them know how much time left they have to discuss the topic at hand. And then once that time is up, you can click on a button that allows them to close you to close out the room and then automatically they will rejoin you back into the main room and in the settings tab in the very beginning you can adjust it and change how many seconds you want the countdown to be so you may be wondering and asking yourself but dr hemphill what do i teach my students where can i get resources i've got you covered so in the description below i will share some free resources where you can find wonderful activities that can be adapted for the online classroom and also ones that are already meant for online teaching and i've also thrown in this book that i highly recommend i have used this in all of my years of teaching and it has 99 activities that you can do in the classroom and it really transfers really well into the online teaching. While you're online teaching, is this on? Oh, I'll find out in a minute, I guess. In a proficient 